Have you ever felt lost, like you didn't know which way to go? We all have. Life can be confusing. But here's the good news. God has a plan. He has a wonderful, amazing plan for your life. You might not see the whole picture right now. That's okay. God's plan unfolds one step at a time. He guides us gently. He loves us completely. Never give up on God's plan. It's bigger than your problems. It's stronger than your fears. Hold on to hope. God is working everything out for your good. Remember, you are loved. You are cherished. You are never alone. God is with you always. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Life can be tough. We face challenges. We experience setbacks. But through it all, God is with us. He gives us strength when we are weak. He gives us hope when we are discouraged. God wants us to keep going. He wants us to persevere. He wants us to never give up on the dreams He has placed in our hearts. When we trust in Him, we can overcome any obstacle. Remember the story of David and Goliath? David was just a young boy. Goliath was a giant. But David believed in God. He knew God was with him. And he won the battle. We can win our battles too. We can overcome our giants. With God, all things are possible. Faith is believing in what we cannot see. It's trusting in God's promises. It's knowing that He is working behind the scenes, even when we don't understand. Living with faith brings peace. It brings joy. It brings confidence knowing that God is in control. When we have faith, we can face any situation with courage. Think about a tiny seed. It's buried in the dark soil. It seems like nothing is happening. But then a miracle occurs. The seed sprouts, it grows, it becomes a beautiful plant. Faith is like that seed. It may seem small, it may seem insignificant, but it has the power to produce amazing results. Have you ever prayed for something and not received it right away? It can be frustrating. We want things to happen on our timetable, but God's timing is perfect. He knows what we need. He knows when we need it. He is working all things together for our good. Trusting in God's timing means letting go of our own agenda. Think about a baker making bread. The dough needs time to rise, it can't be rushed. If it's baked too soon, it won't be good. Our lives are like that dough. We need time to grow, we need time to learn, we need time to become who God wants us to be. God has given each of us unique talents and abilities. He wants us to use them for His glory. When we work hard, we honor Him. Colossians 3.23 says, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for human masters. This means giving our best in everything we do. Think about a skilled carpenter. He takes pride in his work. He carefully selects each piece of wood. He uses his tools with precision. He creates something beautiful and lasting. We are like that carpenter. We can use our gifts to create something beautiful for God. We can make a difference in the world. We can leave a legacy that honors him. Holding on to anger and resentment is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. It consumes us from the inside, eating away at our peace and happiness. It hurts us more than it hurts them. The waves of bitterness crash against our hearts, eroding our joy and serenity. Forgiveness is the key that unlocks the prison of bitterness. It is the act of setting ourselves free from the chains that bind us to past hurts. When we forgive others, we release them to God. We trust that He will handle justice and mercy in His perfect way. We let go of the pain and anger. We release the heavy burdens that weigh down our hearts, allowing them to float away like lanterns into the night sky. We choose to move forward in freedom. Each step we take on the path of forgiveness leads us closer to the vast ocean of peace and healing. This doesn't mean we condone their actions. Forgiveness is not about excusing wrongdoings, but about freeing ourselves from the darkness they cast over our lives. Think about a bird trapped in a cage. It flutters and struggles, yearning for the open sky. It longs to be free to soar through the sky. Just like that bird, our souls long for the freedom that forgiveness brings. Forgiveness is like opening the cage door. It is the act of setting our spirits free to fly high above the pain and hurt. It allows us to fly above our pain and experience true freedom. We can run freely in the open fields of life, unburdened by the past. God has forgiven us so much. His forgiveness is like the sun breaking through the darkest storm clouds, bringing light and warmth to our souls. He offers us unlimited forgiveness and grace. His love overflows like a fountain, washing away our sins and renewing our spirits. We can extend that same forgiveness to others. 
finding healing and restoration in the process. By reaching out in reconciliation, we build bridges of love and understanding, creating a world where grace abounds. When we walk in forgiveness, we open the door to God's blessings in our lives. Love and forgiveness go hand in hand. They create a powerful force for good. John 15, 12 says, My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. God's love is unconditional. It's not based on what we do or don't do. Think about a gardener tending to his garden. He waters the plants. He pulls out the weeds. He carefully nurtures each one. God tends to our hearts in the same way when we choose forgiveness. God wants to bless us abundantly. His love opens doors of opportunity, healing and joy. As we forgive others, we create space for God's blessings to flow in our lives. New Beginnings. Forgiveness is a fresh start. It's a chance to wipe the slate clean and begin again. Imagine the feeling of a fresh start, like the world after a cleansing rain, where everything feels renewed and full of potential. It doesn't erase the past, but it allows us to move forward without the burden of bitterness. The weight of old grievances can be lifted, giving us the freedom to embrace the future with open arms. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone. The new is here. This transformation is profound, signifying a complete renewal of our spirit and purpose. When we accept God's forgiveness, we become new creations. Our past mistakes no longer define us. Instead, we are defined by our potential and the love that God has for us. Think about the sunrise each morning. Each dawn brings with it the promise of a new day, filled with opportunities and hope. It signals a new day, a fresh start. Just as the sun rises to chase away the darkness, forgiveness allows us to step into the light of a new beginning. Forgiveness is like that sunrise. It offers warmth, light, and the chance to start anew, no matter how dark the night has been. It offers us a new beginning, a chance to leave the darkness of the past behind. We can walk forward with hope, knowing that each step brings us closer to a brighter future. God's mercies are new every morning. Each day is a gift, a chance to grow, to learn, and to become better versions of ourselves. He gives us countless opportunities to start over, to forgive, to grow, and to become more like Him. Embrace these moments of renewal and let them guide you towards a life filled with grace and purpose. Never giving up, a testament to faith. Never giving up is a testament to our faith. It is a reflection of our inner strength and our unwavering belief in something greater than ourselves. It shows God that we trust Him even when things are difficult. When the path is steep and the journey is tough, our faith becomes our guiding light. It demonstrates our commitment to His plan for our lives. Just like an athlete who practices day in and day out, we too must remain dedicated to our spiritual journey. Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 says, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. This verse reminds us that patience and perseverance are key to achieving our goals. Our perseverance will be rewarded. Just as a flower blooms after a period of growth, our efforts will bear fruit in due time. Think about a marathon runner. They train for months, pushing their bodies to the limit. Their journey is long and arduous, but they keep their eyes on the prize. They train for months, pushing their bodies to the limit. They face hills and valleys, but their determination never wavers. They face pain and exhaustion, but they keep going. Each lift, each step, each moment of struggle is a testament to their faith in their own abilities. They never give up, and they cross that finish line victorious. Their victory is not just personal, it is a collective triumph of the human spirit. Our faith journey is like a marathon. It requires endurance, patience, and unwavering determination. There will be challenges along the way, obstacles that seem insurmountable, but with faith, we can overcome them. There will be times when we want to quit, when the waves of life crash against us, testing our resolve, but we must keep going. Together, we can support each other and find strength in unity. We must never give up because God is with us every step of the way. His presence is our constant companion, guiding us through every trial and tribulation. Embracing the journey. God's plan for our lives is a journey, not a destination. It's about the lessons we learn, the growth we experience, 
and the people we impact along the way. Enjoy the journey, celebrate the small victories, learn from the setbacks, embrace the process of becoming who God created you to be. Think about a group of friends hiking together. They enjoy each other's company. They marvel at the beauty of nature. They encourage each other along the way. Our faith journey is best shared with others. Surround yourself with supportive people who will lift you up and inspire you to keep going. Together you can navigate the challenges and celebrate the victories. Keep moving forward. Never give up on God's plan for your life. It's an amazing plan filled with purpose and hope. Keep moving forward one step at a time, trusting in God's guidance and love. Remember, you are not alone. God is with you always, cheering you on and empowering you to live a life of victory. Embrace his plan, never give up, and watch as he does extraordinary things in and through you. Your life has purpose. Your story is still being written. Subscribe for more faith-filled insights. Keep the faith, keep pressing on, and watch God's amazing plan unfold in your life.